Hi, so a few people have asked me what sort of kit I have, so I thought I'd put together this quick video to show you the kit that I use. I'll also put together some recommendations for people who are starting out towards the end of the video. So you can see that I'm using two monitors. Uh, there's a 27 and 28 inch, it's best to get uh, similar sizes. The 27 was reduced, so that's what I got instead of the 28. I got the 28 first. They're cheap monitors. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference unless you're doing some really important graphics work and it's going to print. The calibration is probably more important at that point. They're not 4K monitors, but that would be a nice upgrade. It does make a bit of a difference. What I've also got down here is a Huion drawing tablet. This is the Huion GT220 version 2. For quite a while I was using the Intuos 4 and that was really great, but I've noticed from going across to the Huey on drawing tablet and actually seeing what you're drawing on, it's a lot quicker workflow. The drawing tablet was £400 and I think it's well worth it, especially if you're doing any sculpting or painting of textures. It really makes a difference. What you can do is have uh, Blender open and you can have your main screen of Blender here and then on the tablet uh, you can work on the texture painting or sculpting. So you can have two different screens uh, with two different things open. Then if I quickly want to change something with the mouse, I can go over to that screen. And if I want to draw or sculpt, I go onto my Huion. And then I'll have my reference images on my screen two that is there. If you can't afford a screen tablet, then a graphics tablet is a must in my opinion. I've heard really good reports about the Huions and the Huion 1060 seems a very good starter graphics tablet. The main thing is the pressure sensitivity. 2048 levels seems to be very good and the size of the drawing area. It's helpful to have quick keys on the side that you can set to buttons that you regularly use. So my base unit, I've got an i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's using a GeForce GTX 980. I'd like to upgrade to the 1080 because that sounds like a very good card. But sometimes you have to think about the cost to the amount that it's really going to give you. I can't justify that at the moment and I'm using Windows 10. I found the, the Huion so good that I went and bought myself a Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. So this is uh, the mobile version of the Cintiq, so it's a, a computer and screen um, all in one, and it's got the Wacom drawing experience. So the difference between a Cintiq, I'm assuming they're very similar to the Mobile Studio Pro, and the Huion, the main difference I would say is what's called the parallax, which is kind of the screen thickness. So when you're pressing on the screen with the pen, there's a tiny bit of distance, so you might, if you're looking in the far corners, uh, have slightly less accuracy. I haven't noticed a massive difference with pen pressure. The Mobile Studio Pro does boast really high levels of pen pressure, but really um, I've not noticed that much difference and I've heard that most artists don't notice the difference either. For me, texture painting and sculpting is something that I'm really keen on, so uh, this was really important to me and being able to do it anywhere on any location is a fantastic thing. It did cost a lot though, this is the 16 inch version, it's a high spec 16 inch, it cost me £2,000 on eBay, but I'm really enjoying the experience. The software I'm using, I'm using Blender of course, um, I use Photoshop, but I'm actually trying to get used to Critter more because one, it's open source and free, and two, it seems to be set up for artists more than uh, Photoshop, which of course is uh, more general and photo specific, I would say. Lastly, I have a sketch pad uh, with lots of notes and quick sketches uh, next to me. I think that's really important, even if you're not an artist, uh, just making notes quickly without having to open up a document um, or uh, get another, a new document in your paint program. Uh, quickly being able to sketch or uh, list ideas, very important. So in terms of recommendations, I would say a medium weight computer, the most important thing being the graphics card, as long as it's reasonably up to date. The GTX 10 series is really good, so 1050 up to 1080 Ti. If you're looking to get a new computer, then I would suggest spending around a thousand pounds. But if you haven't got that kind of money, you can certainly start using a program such as Blender with a basic computer. 
At work I use a laptop with an i5 processor and no graphics card. It's slow but I can still teach a lesson and show all the techniques with that laptop. If you were to buy a PC of that kind of spec, it would probably cost you about 400 to 500 pounds. One of the essentials though, as I keep saying, is a graphics tablet. You don't have to have a drawing tablet like this, but a graphics tablet is really useful to take yourself to the next level. So that's the end of this video. I hope it's helped you in some way. Please uh, comment and tell me what you think or if you disagree with my recommendations. I'll go into more detail with a review of the Hueyon and how to use it with 3D and the Mobile Studio Pro uh, for those that are interested. So keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.